Hi everyone, it's Justine. This is episode three of my series about color. Last time we built a color palette for somebody who has a warm skin undertone. So logically, today we are building a palette that will be flattering for somebody who is cool. If you don't know whether you're warm or cool yet, or maybe neutral in between, this video here will help you figure it out. And it's also linked down below in the description. My goal for today is to give you a whole range of cool toned colors so that you get a feeling for all the options that you have at your disposal on the cool side of the spectrum. Then we'll build a color palette that is cool, <laughs> but also wearable, not just on the runways, in real life, in a real life situation. And while we get there, I'll give you a ton of other tips as well. So first, what are the cool colors? Blue, purple, and green. So this half of the color wheel. And also anything in between these. Now I'm gonna to switch to my little color cards. I'm adding blue, green, and cyan, and also blue, purple. This way I'm building bridges, sort of, and it gives us the width of the cool range. On the left side, if I add a tiny bit of yellow, I will immediately turn into something warm. So here is my limit, so to speak. And on the right side, if I add some red, it will turn warm too. Now let's play with the intensity. If I add some black to my hues, it's slowly gonna get very dark, very winter-like, more muted as I'm going towards the bottom of the screen. And if I add white, the intensity is reduced and you get a color palette that looks a lot more like summer. I could keep adding more white up there, but you get the idea, that's the direction. Conclusion, if you take any two hues in this cool range and you add white to them, the more white you add, the more you will always end up with a harmonious color palette because they will become more and more similar because of the white. Same thing if you add black to any two hues in this range. The more black you add, the more your two initial hues will look good next to each other. Fun story. Once I was in a hardware shop and there was a salesperson promoting a color guide, a range of wall paints. So they had 200, I don't know, colors um, of wall paint. And she was saying the brand blah 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 curated this unique selection of wall paint colors. And if you take any colors in this range, they will always look good together. And that's why this color guide is so special, etc. And I was like, can I see? <laughs> I had a look. It turns out they just took a bunch of different hues from the entire color wheel and kept adding more and more white to them. That's it. And this color guide was on sale for over 100 euros. And I thought, <laughs> No need to pay 100 euros for that. Okay, we've seen the width of the cool range. Now let's talk about the depth that we can put into a color palette. Here are some examples. They're all combining white with cool hues that contain white as well. Number one, purple, lavender, which is purple plus white, and white. That's extremely harmonious. It's like the perfect harmony because it's simply different intensities of one same hue. Number two, more advanced, bleached denim, plus a white t-shirt, plus a light green shirt. That means two different cool hues, plus white as your neutral. Number three, a cool blue pair of jeans. The jeans could be any cool hue in the range, plus a neutral, in this case black. Black shoes and a black and white pattern shirt. Let's not forget that contrast can also be brought in through prints as well. Conclusion, if you pick one cool hue, make it vary in intensity, adding white and adding black, plus white and or black as your neutral, you have your color palette already, you're done. But let's go deeper and add color accents as well. The lady in purple is doing a great job because she did not just combine different intensities of purple. She also has red lips, golden hardware on the bag, and orange little tap details on the sneakers. These three elements are warm hues. So adding warm color accents to a cool outfit is a great way of making your overall look stand out. It doesn't have to be in huge proportions. It doesn't have to be one of the core pieces that you're wearing. You can do it in subtle hints through the makeup and all the accessories. Vice versa, the same is true if you have a warm outfit. You can bring in slight touches of cool hues to make the whole thing pop. Another example, this lady has the same white plus light blue basis that we already saw, but she's adding a light pink shirt plus a blush colored handbag. Both are warm hues, technically. 
and she's wearing bright blue sunglasses. Blue is cool, but it's a lot more saturated and intense than her jacket. So make sure that you include different intensities or levels of saturation when you're building your color palette. It makes the whole thing more interesting. That's what I mean when I say bringing depth to your color palette. Typical cool summer hues are baby blue, ice blue, lavender, aqua green, mint, sage. And in winter, the typical ones would be navy blue, bleu roi, duck blue, forest green, emerald, dark purple. Okay, now let's practice what we saw so far. I'm gonna create a full color palette, including black and white too, because most real life wardrobes would. I'm starting with blue green, of which I take a shade where I added black and a tint where I added some white. Then I add white. I add a blue green plus gray going into a more neutral direction. I add blue jeans in bleach denim, so that's the closest I have to <laughs> bleach blue, and black as a neutral. My accent color from the warm range will be a tint of yellow. Now this is a color palette where everything looks good next to each other. It's probably not wide enough for a full wardrobe, so I'm adding another color on top of my blue green, and that is purple plus a tint of it, which is lavender. The result is too many colors at the same time for one outfit, but if you're building a palette for an entire wardrobe, you need more than just one color. So on top of my blue green, I'm taking purple. Voila. What do you think? Would you wear a color palette like this? Which hues do you feel most attracted to? Now, I want to talk to you about purple purple for a minute because at the beginning remember I said purple is kind of at the limit between cool and warm on the color wheel on the spectrum and you always hear stylists say purple is a jewel tone and jewel tones look good on everyone is that so I personally disagree the thing is you can make purple cool by adding blue to it and you can make it warm by adding red to it if you saw any of these hues individually, you would likely call them purple. Yet when you see them next to each other, they are really different. Conclusion, <laughs> I think that purple looks good on everyone, yes, but it really depends on which purple you're talking about. Point in case, Kate Winslet and Senela Gomez, they do not wear the same shade of purple. One is cool toned and the other one is warm toned. Purple and also green are really in between cool and warm because they are on the limits on each side of the spectrum. So it's very easy to make them tilt towards either warm or cool. And in theory, you could make any cool hue look at least warmer. Like you take blue, which is really clearly cool, it's in the middle of the cool range, you add red to it. At some point you'll end up with something which is an unidentified brown tendency towards black, you know, and that's where I think you need to separate color theory from color practice. And I, sh I think fashion is a practical thing. Some of these unidentifiable colors, you can't really say anymore. Is it even warm cool? Is it like a blue originally? Or is it a red? Or what is this? It doesn't look flattering often on human skin tones. So it doesn't do the job for fashion design. And if brands were launching these kind of colors on clothes, nobody would buy it because it just doesn't flatter anyone. I guess what I'm trying to say is, yes, you can tweak any color the way you want. You can typically make a green or a purple cool or warm. But like the rest of the spectrum, um, a red orange will be warm. You can add as much blue as you want. It's like in 99% of the cases, a really warm color will be warm. And that's something that you can actually work with when you're building a concrete color palette for your wardrobe. It makes life a lot more simple. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something. Thank you very much for your support. The next episode in this series will be all about neutrals. Whites, blacks, browns, etc. I will give you a range of neutrals that works nicely for warm undertones and one that works for cool people. It will all be in the same video. This way you'll be able to save those ranges and have them with you the next time that you go wardrobe shopping. So if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, now is a great opportunity to do it before you go or something else. And if you are a new subscriber on this channel, welcome. 
Um, I don't know if everybody knows this yet, but every time that I upload a video, on the day of the upload, I'm answering two comments. So if you're watching this video on its first day, I see you in the comment section. The previous episodes of this series about color are linked here in the little card and down below in the video description, I put you the link to the whole playlist so that you can catch up with any episode that you might have missed on the topic. I will see you soon in a new video and until then, take care.